Star Trek is such a hopeful story. It projects a future where we're not like we are now. We're so kind of, we're getting more and more insular and cagey and xenophobic and suspicious of, of, of people for the most, the silliest reasons, you know. Um, it's, it, it's terribly sad. Uh, and, and surely, you know, the majority of us want the Star Trek ideal of kind of peace, harmony, you know, because life's easier like that. It takes a lot of effort to be angry. One of the wonderful things that, uh, you know, makes Star Trek relevant today as it was in the 60s is it presents a vision of humanity that is united, that's moved beyond persecution and, and particularly in this day and age I think people are looking for something uh, that is infused with hope to latch onto. Star Trek does in a small way remind us uh, of what we're capable of um, and it appeals to our better nature and so it's been a very bizarre uh, time uh, you know, talking about this film and what Star Trek means while this is happening in the world. It's funny because, like, you know, the Federation is, is, is essentially a group of uh, different territories all working together towards a, a, an end, which is good. You know, that's what you might have been able to argue the EU was before we left it. Now it feels a bit fractured and shaky. Um, you can't help hoping for the best, particularly in light of what's happening now. We have this bizarre snap to the right in the States, this sort of clown-like figure who has emerged as this sort of say anything kind of, I mean, it's like a movie, you know. There's a reality TV star who's knocking on the White House door. It doesn't, it beggars belief. But, and in this country, we have had social change at such an incredible rate of knots, you know. We had a bunch of people come in convince the nation into leaving the EU and then all bugger off, you know? It's like, wow, crazy times. With Brexit and with Donald Trump and his xenophobic um, uh, awfulness uh, and, and <laughs> ultranationalism and right-wingism, um, the world that we kind of promote is one of m a more unified uh, international um, front, which I, I don't think there's any other way to go forward in 2016.